Poodles are available in three sizes, a toy poodle, a miniature poodle, and a standard poodle. Toy and miniature poodles are both smaller in stature, compared to standard poodles. The poodle was originally bred as a water retriever dog, but quickly gained popularity as a companion dog. Despite their reputation as lap dogs, the toy poodle and miniature poodle have the energy and intelligence of the standard poodle. The name poodle came from the German word puddle, which means to splash in water. The poodle is said to have originated in either Germany or France, and is currently the national dog of France. In this video, we compared the toy poodle and the miniature poodle, by addressing 11 similarities and differences between the two, in order to help determine which one is best suited for you and your family. But, before we get into the furry details, as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all the fun facts and pet information we have in store for you. Now, without further ado, let's dive in. Number 1. Let's look at their history starting with the Toy Poodle. The Toy Poodle was created when breeders reduced the size of the miniature poodle in order to create a smaller and popular companion dog, especially for individuals and families that live in smaller dwellings such as an apartment, or a condo. In America, the Toy Poodle was first developed in the early 20th century, and was recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1887. The Miniature Poodle is a direct descendant of the Standard Poodle, however, it's a mystery as to what other breed the Standard Poodle was bred with in order to create the Miniature Poodle. What we know is that poodles were commonly used in circuses, especially in France, and that the Standard Poodle was intentionally bred down in size in French circuses to develop what is today known as the Miniature Poodle. The Miniature Poodle was also recognized as a breed by the American Kennel Club in 1887 and by the Kennel Club of England in 1910. Number 2. Let's look at their size, which is the major difference between the two. Toy Poodles are the smallest of the two. Their weight ranges from 4 to 8 pounds and their height is typically under 10 inches. Miniature Poodles are bigger than Toy Poodles but smaller than Standard Poodles. As per the American Kennel Club, their weight ranges from 10 to 15 pounds, and their height should be more than 10 inches and not over 15 inches. Number 3. Let's look at their temperament. Although the toy and miniature poodle differ in size, their temperament is typical of all poodles. The breed is well known for its intelligence, energy, and sociability. In addition, miniature and toy poodles are well-behaved, obedient, non-aggressive, and adaptable. Furthermore, a typical poodle should initially be cautious and reserved around strangers, but should gradually exhibit a warm and likable temperament after the dog recognizes that the new person is trustworthy and wishes no harm. A snappy, nasty demeanor is regarded as a significant flaw in the breed. Number 4. What's their intelligence level? The Poodle breed is extremely intelligent and is ranked the second most intelligent dog breed for the year 2020, and Poodle owners know why. With their high intelligence and eagerness to please their owner, Toy and Miniature Poodles, are renowned for their quick learning skills. Add positive reinforcement techniques and this will take their quick learning capability to the next level. Remember to provide them with interactive toys for small dog breeds from an early age to stimulate their mind and keep them happy. Number 5. Do they need regular exercise? Yes. Despite their reputation as lap dogs, the toy poodle and miniature poodle have the same level of energy as the standard poodle. Both are extremely active, and despite their smaller size, they need daily exercise to burn off their built-up energy. Having a home with a fenced backyard where the poodle can run around and explore is an added advantage. Toy and mini poodles that live in apartments or condominiums will require at least one hour of outdoor exercise. Furthermore, poodles are eager to engage in any type of activity and enjoy staying busy. Swimming is a great form of exercise for them, and most poodles enjoy getting in the water. Because they were bred to be hunting dogs, their instinct is to retrieve, so throwing toys, sticks, or balls for them to retrieve will stimulate their mind and body. 
They also enjoy going for long walks or jogs with their human family, but keep in mind that they must be kept on a leash. Number 6. Trainability. Needless to say, poodles are simple to train due to their extremely high intelligence. They are graceful and agile, and excel in a variety of canine sports, such as agility, tracking, and obedience. Poodles love people, and if their training routines are exciting, fun, and positive, they will do everything in their power to please you. Keep in mind that consistent training is important. Number 7. Are they guard dogs? No. Due to their lack of territoriality and aggression, neither the toy poodle or the miniature poodle is considered suitable guard dogs. However, poodles that are well-loved and cared for will reciprocate with dedication and loyalty. Furthermore, the toy and miniature poodle are considered quiet and calm, but if either poodle is completely certain that danger is coming, he will rapidly become very protective of its owner and human family. Number 8. Are they good with children? Miniature and toy poodles may have less patience with toddlers and younger children. Some children's antics can be too overwhelming for both poodles to handle. Particularly because younger children are larger and may try to play pranks, rough play, or grab the dog without realizing how frightening and stressful these behaviors can be to a small dog. This may cause the dog to react by biting due to fear. In addition, both can get easily stressed out in a rowdy and noisy environment, which is why they are more suitable in households with older and more responsible children. If you have small children and you are not a fan of the standard poodle, then the miniature poodle is a better option, as toy poodles are smaller and more fragile, therefore more susceptible to accidental injuries. Number 9. Are they good with other dogs? Miniature and toy poodles who have been properly socialized can get along with other dogs. However, just like with smaller children, toy poodles are more delicate and fragile, and therefore more vulnerable when exposed to aggressive and larger dogs. Furthermore, when a poodle interacts with any unfamiliar pet, including other dogs, he must be supervised. Nonetheless, how well a dog gets along with other dogs is determined by its level of socialization. Number 10. Shedding and Grooming. Both toy and miniature poodles have relatively low shedding and low allergen coats, which make them an excellent choice for allergy sufferers. However, just like humans, their fur grows and falls daily, but most of the fallen fur usually becomes tangled in the dog's hair, rather than falling off the dog. Therefore, without adequate maintenance, this might result in matting. So unless you keep your poodle coat in a short trim, regular brushing from the hair root to the end is required to prevent matting. Also, hair does grow in a poodle's ears, so it's important to pay attention to their ears and clean them when needed. Plus, the hair in the ears should be removed, in order to avoid earwax buildup and dampness, both of which can lead to infection. Furthermore, full grooming is recommended every 6 to 8 weeks. Number 11. Behavioral Issues Toy and Miniature Poodles are companion dogs that need to spend the majority of their time with their owners. Poodles resent being left alone or being excluded from family activities. Plus, Toy and Miniature Poodles are clever dogs who require continuous mental stimulation from their human family throughout the day, and a neglected poodle may develop psychological and behavioral problems, such as excessive barking, and furniture chewing, scratching and ripping. If you must leave your toy poodle or miniature poodle alone for an hour or more, consider giving the dog a safe toy to play with while you are gone. Furthermore, miniature and toy poodles should not be babied, they should not be constantly picked up and carried around, without being leashed to walk, if they are babied, your poodle will start believing that he is in command, and that he does not have to behave or follow commands, which can result in a problematic and spoiled poodle. Number 12. Cost. Well, a simple internet search will reveal that getting a toy or miniature poodle is not cheap. But the cost of a poodle depends on your region and so many other factors, that it's impossible for us to mention a price. Keep in mind, that poodle puppies born in puppy mills may present issues. Always choose a well-bred poodle, 
as reputable breeders, are committed to creating puppies that are healthy and have poodle-like temperaments. And as always, remember that adopting is a less expensive option that comes with many added perks. In the end, both toy and miniature poodles are extremely similar dogs, with their size being the main difference. Both need daily exercise and regular grooming, therefore, they are not low-maintenance dogs. They are, however, people-oriented dogs that may fit in with most families who are willing to provide the care. Please support our channel by subscribing to receive more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.